TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday morning. We're 30 minutes in the trading day, and you got markets pulling back a bit from the two day rally we had to start off the week. SPs right now off by about 1.1% 1 .1 to 3757. We got the NASDAQ 100. You're off by 1.5% right now, 11,463. The Dow hovering just above 30,000. We're off 9 tenths percent. And the Russell pushing almost 2% to the downside right now. You got Bitcoin back under 20,000, 19,800. 95. We got crude as we got potential OPEC news hanging in the balance as we speak. Crude, look at this pullback we got even going on right now, man. They don't look like huge moves because of the chart, but boy, crude, crude just pulled back since I started the program, folks. At nine o'clock, you're down about a buck fifty to eighty six nineteen, but that's only trading back to where you were for most of the overnight session and the price of crude. Gold contract giving back some of the gains we've had over the last week from sixteen twenty two last Wednesday. Up to 1738. A lot of that having to do with the dollar index, folks. I just had a great conversation with our man Teddy Kegstad. Please check out the Tiger Forex report, folks. Great information Teddy puts out and currencies driving so much of what's going on across the whole globe right now. Gold contract off about 18 bucks to 1712. And we jump to notes and bonds, and there's a pullback for you, man. You got the 10 year right now. How about the 10 year off a full point and three ticks right now? Taking a look, that's talking about a yield of pushing 3.77%. Rising yields yet again, and as I talked about on the program, man, uh, this is not indicative of stable markets, folks. When you have yields jumping the way they are, not the usual case, man. You take a look at the daily, too, and don't be fooled by some of these bounces, folks, because, boy, it's been a one-way trip on the 10-year from 122 back in August to 110.19 as recently as September 28th. Uh, we catch a little bit of a bounce. All you did was get to the 236. The 382 would get us to almost 115 in the 10 year, but just like that, we're off a full point and five ticks, and we gotta jump around to the currencies, man, because they're driving so much of the action. There was the recent pullback in the dollar index from almost 115. September 28th, down to 110. Today, you're catching a little bit of a bounce again to higher prices in the dollar index. That's correlating across the board in terms of what we have happening with the euro as well. We spike up the parity, giving it back a bit. We'll see where the day goes. Markets selling off a little bit as we speak, though. Stay tuned, folks. Basil did his program at 8 o'clock, so that's fresh information just from the last couple hours. That's coming up right now. Live programming after that. Stay tuned for Basil, folks. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.